Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Hey, Fino Boxing fans here. We're done to feed the prospect, Rashad Mahdi. He's coming in with the sensational five knockout streak, taking on a tough opponent, someone who's been there with a lot of people, Ryan Pinto. What do you want to bring to the table? What do you want to show to the fight fans more than anything? Looking to, to show that, um, you know, even when it's my last fight, I, I showed that, you know, even when it's in tough situations, I, I can still come out and prevail. Um, this is different options of fighters, you know, some short, some tall. It's just to show that different options won't matter. I'm looking to, you know, steal the show and, and look impressive. Uh, you're nine and zero, seven knockouts. You know that one win away from from double digits. How far away do you see yourself fighting for a world title? I know you're 147 now. And you mentioned you the target is 140. How fast and and how soon do you want to basically? Um, first, I want to start picking up these these uh, smaller titles. You know, uh, I put faith in my coaches and my my management and, and Eddie. And uh, I'm looking to get these belts in one by one and uh, take some people out one by one. So at the end of the day, I'm looking to make a statement. With another win on Saturday night. 140, obviously, it's stacked with talent. We have Josh Taylor, who's on just be the champion. You have Tank Davis. You have Mario Barrios. You have Stavros Ramirez. Lomachenko could move to 140. They'll promote as well. Someone who you know, so obviously, well from the amateurs. You know, who do you think will be the guy that you will be facing down the line at 140 pounds? I would like a, a nice little rematch with Teofimo, definitely. Uh, we fought in the amateurs, you know. I felt like, you know, I had a – I pulled it out. You know, we weren't too young back then, but uh, I definitely want to run it back one more time, you know. And uh, – I'm not scared of nobody, so I'll fight anybody over there. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here to make a statement. I'm here to make a legacy and uh, put on a good show for everybody. A lot of people consider Teofimo Lopez one of the best p fighters pound for pound in boxing today, but you think you have what it takes to, to not only complicate things but beat Teofimo Lopez. Well, yeah, I mean, the f when we fought in the amateurs and stuff like that, it was, you know, not that hard. Listen, he, he beat Lomachenko one fight, you know, and uh, everybody calls him pound for pound. You know, it's tough to say that, you know. When you have other guys like Canelo, you know, that stuff that, that are being champions and taking people out one by one, you know. So it's tough to say that. But um, if he decides to come up to 140, let's, uh, let's, let's throw down one more time. Do you think that's a, that's a fight that naturally will, have, will take place, obviously 140 pounds? He says he has business maybe at 135, possibly move up to 140 for, uh, for Josh Taylor. But if he gets past Josh Taylor, that's what you want next. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've, um, I'm just looking to, you know, at this time right now, I take people out one by one, you know, make the statements, tell people, listen, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I want these belts too. So um, the time comes right now, my main target is Brian Pino. Um, I'm going to take him, I'm planning to, uh, you know, take him and fight him this Saturday and put on a good show for everybody. I know you had a great amateur career, but you did mention that loss against Delfimo Lopez. Obviously, you also lost against Ryan Garcia. Is that a rematch as well that you would like at some point to, you know, to avenge? Yeah, I mean, uh, Uriah's a cool guy. Uh, they, they have these 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 beefs and all that stuff to, with the, each other, but um, yeah, if they decide to come with my weight class, man, I want the mix too, man. I, I don't want to be you know separate out while they get the the fights and stuff like that. I want to show everybody that I'm part of the mix too, and I wanna I wanna fight them too. Uh, we're expecting uh, maybe about seven eight thousand five, five fans here at the at the Mandalay Bay. You know, walking through that moment, having fans back. You know, what do you wanna? How happy more than anything? You know, that fans are actually gonna be in the arena. Oh man, it. it for me, I like to, you know, hear, like, the crowd reactions, like, ooh, the ahs, and all that stuff like that. So, uh, thank God, because the last two fights were, you know, dead silent. So, I was like, yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. But um, I'm, I like the fans' reactions. I like to, hit, to put the good show on for the crowds, not just people on that are watching on the zone. Um, so, I'm looking to make a statement, put a good show for everybody in the crowd, and, and have people over here saying, listen, Albania Bear, well, that was the guy that we remember from the fight. My fans remember, obviously, you know, walking out with with Batman gear. You know, what do you, what, what do you, you know, do you want to give us what you're gonna have, or we're we gonna have to tune in Saturday night? Oh, you guys have to make two items. Uh, I mean, you 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 could get a little preview, but uh, the fans, everybody at, at home has to wait till Saturday. Lastly, this telecast is gonna be shown worldwide. You know, what do you want to sh more than anything show the five fans and show the competition at 140 and 140 pounds that Rashad Mahdi so I want to deal with. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to make the statements, show everybody that listen. Um, the Albania Bears coming for you guys. So uh, coming one by one, taking these fighters out and uh, making a statement. So um, I'm here to make a statement, build a legacy, and uh, become world champion. Thank you so much for the time.